Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's about that time. Back to school is approaching closely and I wanted to show you how I made this small command center for pennies. I hope you stay tuned. So you guys, um, I really wanted to do this the most inexpensive way I possibly could. So a lot of these are just items I already had on hand. Um, as you can see, I already had this um, calendar up. Um, so it's just a calendar that I've had all year that I've been using. Um, this is an old uh, pencil case, but it's supposed to go into a locker. I got that from the dollar store years ago. As you can see, it's kind of cracked. And um, actually it was originally purple. I spray painted it white. Um, I had this old letter in my uh, crafting area and I'm just going to um, use it just you know repurpose it I had it around the house these are some old picture frames um, one of them this one has glass this one does not because I'm going to change this into the cork board as you all can see it's old and rusty and um, in a moment here I'm just going to um, spray paint it and just give it a little bit extra life and um, these are the only new items that I purchased were these um, crafters square from the Dollar Tree, of course, the cork board. I really thought I needed to, um, and I got this, um, this uh, dry, well, this white, what is it, marker? So that I can uh, write this, I'm gonna be turning this into a chalkboard, but um, honestly, I think I'll only be needing one of these. I thought I needed two, but I looked out, and I could just use that some other time so you guys honestly the price for um, doing this project for uh, new items is three bucks okay so getting started here um, I'm just trying to paint these old picture frames um, they have been used in previous wall galleries and probably everything else in the world I believe I got them from a thrift store probably about five years ago you guys so I just decided I'd get some just plain old white spray paint it's in the um, finish of satin and just give it a little bit of a refresh So you guys, here's the small space that I'm working with to put the command center up. Um, you have to use what you've got. You know, you've got to make it work. You know, you don't really need anything fancy. You don't have to have a huge amount of space. It just needs to be efficient and functional for your family. So you guys, I've got some leftover black poster board and here's a cork board. So those are the things that I'm gonna be using. So just getting started, um, I'm going to use this cork board to put on the uh, back of the picture frame. I have never used this before, but I'm so excited that it had its own adhesive. And y'all, let me tell you, that adhesive is strong. Um, as I'm trying to cut it, as you can see, it's sticking to um, the little scissors I have here. Um, it's super durable. I'm happy to see that. I'm just taking the back, um, the thing you use, you know, to set up the frame off so that it'll sit flush against the wall. I will be hanging these up with command strips. You know, that's like my favorite thing to decorate my house. I can't stand holes if I don't have to put them in my walls. So right now I'm just using this old poster board. Um, it didn't cover the back of the picture frame completely. So I just cut out a slim piece to hang along the edge. So nothing fancy over here guys, just a little bit of Elmer school glue to um, glue it down to uh, the back of the uh, picture frame. And right now I'm just gonna set uh, one of the baskets from my pantry that has, you know, like all the condiments and stuff in it just to dry for a little bit. So right now I'm just gonna assemble it. I'm gonna put the cork board in its frame and here I'm just putting, you know, the blackboard on its frame because I'll be using a, a white chalk marker to, you know, write on the picture frame glass. So it'll be, you know, a dry erase type of thing. So 
So you guys, here it is all complete. I am so happy with how it turned out. Um, as I said, I did this for only $3. I mostly use products around my home. I love how it's just simple and it's easy to work with. Um, I did find another little saying, as you can see, um, the bless this home sign. I found that in my garage and I just put that up there, you know, for balance and symmetry. And I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. I hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration and it pushes you to shop your home and make a efficient space for your family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.